Hi everyone, Professor Monty here, and let's talk about approximating areas in calculus. So it says approximate the area under the curve f of x equals x squared plus one over the interval one to seven using three intervals and left-hand endpoints. So graphically, it's going to look something like this. We've got our graph. It's the graph x squared plus one, so it's an upward parabola shifted up one. So it looks something like this. I'm not going to be to scale, but it's an upward parabola. And I'm going between one and seven. Well, the idea here is I want to draw three intervals or subintervals over those with left hand endpoints. So, first, let's see how wide each interval is going to be. And you may just do that in your head, but each interval, the width is going to be the total width divided by the number of intervals. And so in this case, the total width is that this length, so seven minus one, and we want three intervals. So six over three, each one is gonna have a width of two. And so we knew that probably because there's six here and then we need three sub intervals. So each one's gonna be two. So I go out two from here, it's gonna get me to three. Go out another two, it gets me to five. Go out another two, I get to seven. Well, these have left-hand endpoints so I start at the left side of my interval and I go up until I hit the curve. And that's going to determine the height of this until I get to three. And then I do the same thing. And then at five. Now notice at seven, I don't have another sub interval. I don't go up to that height. So that determines my height. Remember, this was y equals x squared plus one. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the area of these three rectangles. I'm going to use that to estimate the area under the curve. I know it's too small because I'm losing these little blocks here, but it's an approximation. So, well, for the total area, these are rectangles, so it's just length times width. But I've got three of them. Well, we said the width of each of these was two. So it's something times two plus something times two plus something times two. We need to find the length or the height of each one of those. Well, it's from the y value, which is from x squared plus one, at each left endpoint. So at this endpoint, when x is one, I just plug one in here. That's going to give me for this one, one squared plus one, or it's going to give me a height of two. And I do that for each one of them. So this one was a two. The next one at this height, it's three is the x, so three squared plus one. So that one's going to be a 10. And then the last one is going to be from the five, five squared plus one, 26. And that gives me that height. And now I just multiply and add together to find out what my total area is. So I get four plus 20 plus 52, so I get 76, and that's my answer. Now, if you wanted to, since all of these are going to have the same width, you could factor the width out and say, oh, factor that width out, and it's just the height. It's 2 plus 10 plus 26. So it's 2 times 38. Well, 38 times 2, 76, again, we get the same number. So there's a little trick to make it a little easier if you want to, since they're all the same width, you can always do that. All right, hopefully that helps you out. It's not too bad. It just takes a little practice. And the more you practice, of course, the better you'll get. So if you like this video, please click on like. If you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe link right on the video. Other than that, keep working at it, and you're going to get this.